Natalie. And I'm Megan. And we are Hiding, hiding from, from Our Husbands. Husbands. When you brush your teeth, it's the only time that you clean your skeleton. <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> One hole or two? <laughs> one consecutive. One consecutive. It's gotta be one consecutive. If it's two, what you're gonna you have a problem with the airflow. What if you bend it in half? <laughs> now it's a pool noodle. <laughs> um, you have a husband, right? <sighs> Fortunately, yeah, you too. Yeah. Why would we do that? I don't know. <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah, it did. I'm still crying. <sighs> don't get us wrong, we love them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. The drug is nuts most of the time. I'm gonna say that's, that's about an 80-20. The, yeah, I would agree with that. I sent mine away. He's gone, which is great. I have space. I can breathe. Mine is taking care of our uh, offspring right now. Our offspring. So, yes. <laughs> our child. Yeah. You have a physical child. Not dogs. Physical child. Physical child. Yeah. And dogs. Well, and yeah. And dogs. Yeah. We both have dogs. You're referring to a physical being. Yes. To a, uh, yeah, a tiny human. Itty bitty human. Yes. Well, that must be nice. Gives you a break. Mom's always just said that. Yeah. yeah, that's why I was very excited about <laughs> coming. However <laughs> long this is gonna take, welcome to my living room. Yes, <laughs> you know my favorite part of being at Natalie's house, the fact that every single room smells different. <laughs> it does. It I walked into your bathroom and I was like, "Ah, oh, what is this?" <laughs> Because your house just like smells like pine right now. Like, yeah, it's, have, it's Christmas. But your bathroom time, is but... not pine. No. No. I can't let it be in every room. It'll drive me nuts. So like, I do aromatherapy in my bedroom. Because it helps me sleep. It helps me calm down at night. My bathroom. Uh, in the ensuite of our bedroom, it, the scent has to be the same. Otherwise, it'll bother me. <laughs> In that instance, but if you're in my house and you walk from, you know, that bathroom to the living room or what have you, mm-hmm. like, I don't care about that. I'm never in that bathroom, so it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> but but if it's my bathroom. It has to be the same scent as my bedroom. Aromatherapy? Yeah. You know what I do at night to calm myself? I pace like a menace. <laughs> Brian, how is that calming? Brian goes to bed <laughs> and you pace. Takes Amelia with him. And then I pick up dog toys and kids' toys. And then I listen to music and I pace the house. And then eventually I find my way upstairs. I think you just have a lot of pent up energy in, inside of you. That I mean, out. yeah. Unmedicated at the moment. Pent up energy. Same. Gotta wait till that new year for that new <laughs> insurance. <laughs> Can't, you know, That's the worst thing about insurance. Gotta wait for my deductible to renew. Gotta wait for mine to even start. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, not, not getting that with no insurance. That no. was, like, almost $200 for that one month that I paid for that. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna let the sparkle shine for a month. Extra sparkle. A little extra sparkle until I can uh, I will get s- back on my meds. I will say I'm currently unmedicated as well. Uh, I thought that the added edge of having riddling anxiety 
in every single cell of my being would be a, a great way to have extra sparkle. I mean, that's fun. It's still going. <laughs> I'll He's, cut that out, but it's still going. <coughs> or, or leave it. <laughs> or leave it. Yeah, leaving it. I think realizing the better. the screensaver comes up, and we're like, did, did that? It, did it stop? Or or do we ever hit record? <laughs> or have we just been talking to each other about <laughs> nonsense? Nonsense the entire time. Does he? Does he break it? Now? Yeah. Yeah. I only wanted a little. I did have something I want to ask you, though, and I've been thinking about it for a few weeks now. A few weeks? Well, yeah. But then I kept I kept forgetting to ask you, and then this was going to happen, and I was like, well, now I have to wait. Oh, boy. How's Buckle that? up, guys. <laughs> How's that snail just working out? <laughs> <laughs> um... The snail cheese is great. Um, backstory. I, I don't even know the name of it. I think it's like Koziak? Snail Essence. You can get it at Ulta now. Yeah, it's over in the skincare section. Okay, but anyway. Backstory. Um, I was watching a bunch of skincare YouTube videos. And the number one thing that I kept seeing was the snail essence serum. And it also had a moisturizer along with it. And I wanted to try something new. I heard that it was really hydrating and it was great for your skin. And this time of year, I get super duper dry. And I got it. And the second I opened it to use it, I took a video. <laughs> My mind went differently. <laughs> That's my no. Nope. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Very hydrating. <laughs> oh God! I took a video and I sent it to Megan, and I was like, "We need to talk about the texture of this moisturizer. It's the consistency of cum. <laughs> it was the gagging. It was because yeah. I put my finger in it to show her because it's elastic. It was so you do cool. this, and it stretches." <laughs> And it was so gross that I was like, I <laughs> it was great. But yeah, um, I can say I've been using it for about a month now. I mean, if you really think about it, the actual stuff does the same thing. So. I mean, yeah. So maybe I'll just switch. I'll start bottling that instead of bottling that. <laughs> yeah. It'd be a lot cheaper. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Homemade. <laughs> it's organic. Market it. <laughs> Higher price. All organic. All organic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh god. god. Okay, so your husband is watching your munchkin. Mm-hmm. I call her your munchkin. Mine is in Las Vegas. First time flying alone as an adult. I gotta read you this list. No. Oh, okay. He flew spirit. <clears throat> oh god. Uh-huh. He flew spirit. What a heck of a one. Uh, yeah, I know, right? For your first what time? Were you think yeah, what were you thinking? He texted me. He had, um, no, no, it wasn't like a connecting flight. He had to take two flights to get there. And a la while, a layover? yeah, while he was there for his layover, um, he texted me and he was like, I'm not going to lie, flying is terrifying. And I was like, why? Well, yeah. Why why is it it's just too why much is it going terrifying? On. He's scared of heights. So I thought that that was the reason and he was like, no, it wasn't that. It was just I, it was just too much for me. Okay. Like I, I had severe anxiety for the first half hour of this flight. And I was like, interesting. Okay. But getting back to the original reason that I'm bringing this up. I need we need to have a discussion about the list of the hazardous materials 
that Spirit has listed in their hazardous materials policy. Okay? All right. Forbidden in all baggage, explosives and fireworks. I can see that one. Flammable liquids and solids. Okay. Lighter refills, torch lighters, and strike anywhere matches. Okay. I mean, like, you would think that should be common. Like, you shouldn't have to put that on a list, but... Yes, makes sense. Alcohol above 140 proof. Uh-huh. Uh, above. What's a, What alcohol is above 140 proof? Moonshine? I don't even know what moonshine... Honestly, I don't either, but I'm just assuming because, you know, there's no regulations when it comes to moonshine. <laughs> <clears throat> um, well, now Google has to come out. Weapons and self-defense spray. Can't, can't even have pepper spray now. Products under safety recalls like batteries. Smart luggage and large quantities of portable devices. Compressed gas. I know, I know what that one's about. You can get... Um, You can get like a little oxygen thing to bring with you, like, an like it's like a, it almost yeah it almost looks like a Febreze can, oh. a mouth thing. Okay. But I'm also assuming they mean like actual tanks, like Got people it. who are on like oxygen. It's not um very specific. Not that anybody's bringing like <clears throat> things of helium with them for balloons and shit like that. It's like I think like oxygen tanks. Got it. Okay. Radioactive material. Who's just getting radioactive material? Out there? Or corrosive and oxidizers. Who's getting those too? The thing is about this list, there are certain things that mean that people have. I know. That's why I wanted to bring it up because it's absolutely terrifying. Uh, a mercury barometer or a thermometer. You can't have a thermometer. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh yeah, poison. <laughs> can't have poison. Who? <laughs> it's all because you got caught. It's not the fact that you did it. It's the fact that you got caught doing it. But it's it. also common sense. Do we not have common sense anymore? That like, what what do we need these things for? I mean, common sense. I mean, we also have to have videos telling people not to shake their babies after they have That's a good them point. in the hospital. I mean, I've never had a, a, a baby. You witnessed these videos. I, I, do you think I was paying attention? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> That's terrifying. I was the one. It's in labor. your child. I was the one actively in labor. I turned That's them on point. and fell asleep. Yeah, that was a good point. Um, you, you, you ready? Saw a lot of things that day. Yeah, I did. What I would. I witnessed so much. I have seen more parts of you. Than I <laughs> <ever>. <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it, the worst part is that was like a very end of pregnancy. Like I couldn't bend anymore. Like that was no. that was months. That was months where I could do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> no upkeep whatsoever. No. Well, it gets to a point. I feel like it's after you can no longer see your toes. You're just like I. I don't. It's very difficult to do this. N- not only do this, but then like you can't even see what you're doing. No. What are you going to do? Have somebody standing there holding the mirror for you? No. What'd you find? We have to find this alcohol. Is it above 140 proof? 192. Why are you trying to kill me? 96% alcohol. Is it moonshine? No. What is it? Spiritus. Made in Poland. Ooh. This is Polish vodka. Dear God. The name translates to rectified spirit, which I knew that. Unfor- I knew that. Spiritus meant. Unfortunately, you knew that? Well, not unfortunately. I watched. I've probably watched Supernatural, like, all the way through about, like, six, seven times at this point. Okay. So, there would be that. But, um. Uh, the strongest spirit for sale in the U.S. It's like getting punched in the solar plexus. <laughs> oh, 
That is a hell of a comparison. Of a description, yeah. Um, infused with herbs and fruits. Not so much for drinking its own, I would imagine, <clears throat> which is a terrible life decision. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it used for? I'm guessing you just mix it in the spirit and stuff. And then <laughs> Everclear is 190. Oh. Everclear is 190. Oh. But I want spiritist now. So it's not as crazy as I thought. It's not like, no. I guess it's I didn't quite understand alcohol proofs. Yeah, I don't think you go by percentages, but yeah. I guess there has to be some kind of relationship between proof. We just sound stupid right now. Uh, are, you, are you ready for another really funny one? one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hoverboards. That one I think is just because they don't want people hoovering around. Yeah, the but those airport. batteries blow up. Those Which is why you can't have batteries. You ready for the last one? This one was the best. This one got me. Dry ice. Only if it's above 5.5 pounds. You got 5.4 pounds in your luggage? You're good. 5.5 though? Negative. I want to know what negative thing happened to something above 5.5 pounds. I don't want to know. Because think about that. It's an entire airplane full of people. The dry ice? Yeah. But going back to the, the previous discussion, poison? They got caught. Why are you flying with poison? Why did you get caught flying with poison? You should have drove. If it was that important to you, you should have drove. Probably didn't even complete their task. Well, I would imagine not if you got caught with poison. What kind of poison? It just says poison. All kinds. All kinds? How many different kinds of poison are there? A lot. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I feel like this is a question you should know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb and say a lot. Uh, let's find out. Okay, now, Different types of poison. Now Google is coming about. <laughs> now here comes Google. I mean... There were three broad groups of poison... Agricultural and industrial chemicals, drugs and drug and healthcare products, and biological poisons. So it's a very broad category. Uh, well, I mean, if you think about it, can't the majority of things be classified as poisonous if given in high enough doses? Yeah. Yeah. So a lot. A lot. <laughs> so it could have been anything. Yeah. I know the story is behind this. This is why I had to bring it up. I did see the picture of him in his tiny seat, though. Oh my god! Yeah, he he sent that is to that me. He was like, like a group chat. Yeah, he, he was like, I can't, work. I can barely move. His seat was like this big, and he's. I mean, well, I'm a spirit. I mean, I don't know what you. Yeah, yeah. he didn't. Know. We should probably clarify too how. Um, my husband works with me and my husband. Yes. Yeah. And I just stalk the group chat. Yeah. <laughs> so we have it's a work very group chat. Interesting. <laughs> but we all work in very similar. Yeah. We all work in some form of health, health insurance. Related, yeah, health insurance related field. Yeah. What is your title specifically? Uh, like prior authorization and Do you do like billing and coding? No, that's what my degree is. Is that what I do? Listen, neither of us use our (laughs) degrees for anything. (laughs) I used my degree once, and that was to transfer a puzzle from the table so I could (laughs) scan. It was a QR puzzle. It was a QR puzzle. Erica and I spent a lot of time putting this sucker together thinking we could win a million dollars off of it. It was one of those. Have you ever seen those? No. We buy a puzzle. It's like $30. It's like a lottery puzzle. You put it together. It's a QR code. You scan it. You see how much money you want. We spent hours putting this puzzle together. And then I could not get it to to scan from the table because there was a glare from the light. And I needed something big enough to transfer it somewhere where there wasn't a glare. That's frustrating. And my framed <laughs> college degree... <laughs> 
was big enough. And I used it to transfer. So you didn't actually use it. You just utilized the piece of paper <laughs> is what you're telling me. Yes. Thanks, Mom, for getting that framed, by the way. Real pre- big preach. Um, but no, like uh, prior authorization and uh, verification specialist. In quotes. I mean, I look up people's benefits, tell them how much they're going to pay. Right. Get their authorizations or tell their offices to get their authorizations. Yeah. And then proceed to get yelled at from patients for mm-hmm. how much they have to pay, even though they're the ones that chose their freaking insurance. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and then the fun side of that, both of our husbands and myself are health insurance agents. So you sell them the shit. I but- don't sell them that shit. <laughs> I sell them other shit, okay? (laughs) I make sure they're covered and they'll be happy. And then I explain to them why something's either not going to be covered or why their insurance company decided it wasn't important enough to cover it. The majority of what we have to deal with, we classify it as the BS, the bullshit that we have to deal with, is um, something that is supposed to be covered and the insurance company is trying to fight for it to not be covered. And it's a ridiculous reason. And then we have to, we essentially go to bat for our clients to be like, listen, guys, it is in writing right here. Mm-hmm. You have to take care of this. I literally on the phone today, Yeah, I was talking to a doctor's office who was not participating with this type of insurance, which I won't say because I don't want to get sued. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and I literally went through all... Like, professionals out the window. And I'm like, well, they suck. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've done that multiple times where I will be talking to a new client or, like, a referral or something. And they tell me, you know, the, these are the problems that I've run into. This is why I'm looking for new insurance. And I'll go, well, what is the name of your insurance plan? And how much is your premium every month? And they'll tell me their premium amount and then they'll look up the name of it and they'll tell me the name of their plan and I'll go, I've never heard of that before. And it'll be like, I don't know, I had somebody give me the name of a life insurance company as their health insurance before. It'll be something so left field and so out of nowhere that it's like you. I feel like I know which one you're talking about. You were scammed. Unfortunately, I think my parents are on that shirt. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> but I, I was like... It's, it's not you, good either. It's not, it's not good insurance. No. And I said they got it without consult. They didn't Every consult time, people. They didn't consult people. They just got it. You know, not towards the, the fact that, you know, their daughter works in the stuff and can easily help them look through it. Anything like that. No, just picked it. And yeah. then complained about it later. Yeah. Like, Deal with that all the time. Gotcha. Could have helped you. Could have helped you. Could have made it better for mm-hmm. you. But yeah. So we have interesting, interesting profession. But at least like you went to school for something medical. I yeah. did it. Yeah. And I changed my, I changed my field multiple times. Yeah. No. <laughs> multiple times. I went to school. Took me four years to get a degree that should have taken me two. <laughs> I went to school to be a professional violinist and a music history professor. So and now I'm a health insurance agent. Seems like the start of that, um, was it 1989 song? 1985. About the accountant being married to a CPA. What? <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? Um, I'm trying to think of, I can't, it's not coming to my head. Any other day I'd blurt out lyrics, but I can't, I just cannot. It's the cold. She has a cold. I do. So forever, in a day, our intro from here on out will have the sound of me with Megan a Megan talking like that. Yeah. <laughs> My brain just isn't working. Yeah, but like, you, keep this, you keep this house pretty cold. It's 68 degrees in here. I did have the fireplace on this morning because I was chilly. It's off right now because oh. we're in between it. Yeah, that's Is Gare that Bear. Bears? Bears? That's Gare Bears. Gare Bears. I have to do rose Oh, bears. we've never introduced our, our... So, we have dogs. We also have been... Our husbands have names. Oh, yeah, our husbands <laughs> have names. And I probably said his a few times at this point. My husband's name is Brian, and you're going to hear that quite often. You may also hear him referred to as 
ass hat ass hat asshole yeah he's ass hat he he enjoys it though like he's a fan like that's their last name has ass in it yeah um literally literally uh my husband is logan you'll also hear him quite a lot hear his name eventually i guess they'll hear from him and from brian yeah eventually eventually at some point yeah um, but yeah, we do. We have dogs. You have three. I have three dogs. Three dogs and an infant. That's yes. that's a house right there. And a husband. My God. And a husband. How do you do it? <laughs> Is that why we're doing this? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. I gotta say though, he's pulling a lot of weight right now. My, yeah. uh, my unmedicated ass at the moment cannot get out of bed in the morning. I'm having the same problem. Mm-hmm. Where I I just, I don't, I don't know if it's the change of this season, because it's getting really fucking cold here. I don't know if it's, I'm just in, I'm cocooned and I'm warm and I don't want to get out of that (laughs) or what the deal is. I just don't want to get out of bed I'm just tired. I'm just tired, like 24-7. Oh. Which is possibly why, like, I used to... I mean, it was always hard for me to get out of bed as it was. Okay. Not the fact that I have ADHD, but also the fact that I have PCOS, and that also makes you tired, tired of shit. Okay. But I've stopped all my medications. <laughs> so, nothing's helping me at the moment. And, um, yeah, I cannot get my ass out of bed. So, he will get up and get her ready. Yeah. And then I drive her to my mom's. By her, she's talking about her daughter. Yeah. Not, um... Which I'll say her name. Her, na- like, her name's Amelia. No, Amelia. Amelia. She's a munchkin. We we had a nickname chosen for her and we have not used it. We wanted to call her Millie. I think it's cute. It's really cute. I don't know if it really fits her though. I need to see more of her but personality. His, but her cousins call her like Mia. And it's odd. Amelia Mignonethonopoulos Rinaldi. I mean, yeah, Mia. Yeah, it Mia. makes sense. Yeah, but it was odd because, like, they don't know each other. Like, her cousins. They don't, like, my brother's daughter. Uh-huh. I don't know if she's saying Mia or she's saying Amia, but it's still very close. Okay. Amia yeah. is a very interesting combination, but she's also, like, three, so. Oh, well, yeah. All right. I See, but I feel like that's around the age that, like, you can come up with a nickname. Like, three to four, they're really starting to develop their personality and figure themselves out. Yeah. And, you know, if they're a really cute, if she, which I think she will be, is, like, a really cute, sweet, adorable little girl, Millie would be perfect. Yeah. And then on the other side, though, which is technically her... Second cousin? I don't know how that works. Because my... Because his, his niece is technically older than me. Oh, God. This is getting complicated. Yeah. But she calls... She's, like, eight, nine. Uh-huh. And she calls her Mia. And I was like, that's odd. That, like, on both sides, like, somebody on both sides is... Have, calling her Mia. Calling her Mia. And well, I'm like, I mean, that is... fits her pretty well if you look at her. I she's also she's sassy as shit already. And she's only nine months old. My husband blames me for that. <laughs> I don't know I why. think that they all do that. Don't they all do that? I feel like if you have a daughter... She may have my attitude, but she has his ass. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, God. Do we need to talk about She ass. reeks. Like, there are times where she lets one rip, and I think it's him. And I'm like, really? And he goes, that wasn't me. And I was like, that sounded like a grown man's fart. That's actually There's no way it came out of that tiny little thing. It's actually kind of impressive. He <laughs> like, thinks I, it's I very hate impressive. to say that. He's very proud of it. I can imagine. He's very proud. I'm not surprised that he would be very proud of that. But I feel like if you have what I classify as the spawn of Satan, a child, and your child, <laughs> a child. <laughs> <laughs> What's worse than a rapist? A child. A child. <laughs> Our parents went to the same place. Um, but if, if you have a kid and, you know, you, your kid, let's say you have a girl and they do get sassy. I feel like all women and girls are sassy to an extent. Brian's when sassy. That, I, he's a prima donna. Um, when that comes out, 
the husband's always like, well, they get that from you. But then if you have a boy and the boy it gets sassy, then the wives are like, they get that from you. And it's like, can you really... I feel yeah. like there is equal opportunity there's for equal, both sides. Yeah, there's equal blame for this child. To attitude. be sassy. It's a 50-50 shot here, guys. I don't know. I don't have kids. Don't know if I'll ever have kids. I don't know. But we'll I, see. Think, I think watching this one come out of me is what... That is, yeah. that is, I'll be honest, yeah. Um, I was trying so hard not to look. But Brian, Brian said that too. He said he watched your he I, I watched was, your face. Because I still rag on him for choosing the good leg and giving you my dead leg. It's okay. It was because fine. Because you I had no control over my right leg. I know you didn't. It was fine. And I had full control fine. over my left one. He you know. And I was like, really? You're gonna give her my dead leg? Well, honestly, I kind of preferred it because I was watching your monitor. I was watching the monitor, oh. so I would know when you were going to contract. When they were when looking at me going, are you having a contraction? I go, I can't feel shit. I and don't know. I, I was there looking at you going, you're having a contraction push. <laughs> push I don't feel anything. They're like, you feel it? I'm like, no. Yeah. I don't feel anything. Which I, I'm sure was wonderful because. Yeah. Because <sighs> leading up to me getting that epidural, which that my was... husband so not, like, gracefully missed. I, because he was in a different state. At least he was trying to get there. Yeah. And he made it before she made her appearance. Yeah, if I didn't get that epidural, but though, he probably wouldn't have. He missed the worst of the entire thing. He really did. I have never... Well, I really wish you would have got... You would have taken a video of that just so he could hear. I have never heard... Oh, anybody make those kinds of noises. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so guttural. <laughs> and just ear piercing. You're clearly in pain. You were trying so hard not to do that, too. Like, you felt bad. You kept being like, I'm sorry, there are other women trying to give birth in this. There was I'm one so other sorry. woman. Yeah, there, there was, was one, one other woman, woman. And she was being induced and they hadn't even started yet. Yeah. And you're literally like, I, I, I don't even know how to describe it. I don't know. It, it was the most, frankly, life altering <laughs> event of my life because it made me sit there and go, I don't know if I can handle that. It was to see everything go down. It, it, and honestly, I'm really glad when, that they finally got the epidural to go through for you because that not happening, I think would have been a complete catastrophe and a nightmare. Mm -hmm. And he probably would have lost it if he saw you that way. Because it was... I never That's what I was trying to tell him. I was like, you miss, you missed it. Yeah, he did. Like, you missed the worst. I was you got there and you were sleeping. Yeah. You got there. After I got the epidural, I had my little peanut ball. I was on my side. I was napping. I was out. He also missed the whole um, catheter thing. Oh, yeah. Like, he wasn't there for the catheter? He was there oh, for no, the they had to one. Do, they had to do the catheter before they did the epidural. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that was a fun shit fact, show. ladies. If you don't have kids, yeah, you have you get to a, get a catheter. You, get, you have to get a catheter. I'm not sure how they're gonna do it for you, but they like basically put me in like a back bend <laughs> and then turn on like, stadium lights. It was an interesting. Yeah, you did. You had stadium lights, but it was and an then interesting it took position. Three nurses. Three nurses. They to had find, to call like the charge nurse in. Yeah, they did. But then they or also maybe it was the the it might have been a midwife that did that. They also couldn't get your fucking vein. No, to they give you arms. your IV. But like I I know I have bad like I know I'm a hard stick as it is. Like I knew that I coming do, into it. I do too. But you're still pale. Like I could see your veins. Well, the, they got the little lamp thingy. Yeah, but I could see your veins. On both, it got. They were trying her hands. They were trying her arms, and she needed to mm -hmm. have the IV before 
she could get the epidural because you have to be hydrated for a while first. I think it was here when they finally got it. Yeah, it was. It was in a weird the spot. Of yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I was trying so hard not to look, and I just kept watching him look, and I was looking for his reaction, and I figured I would hear when she finally made her appearance. But it was the them continuing to go up. Oh, there's her head up oh, there's and I would just automatically go no no <laughs> and then when she finally came out I was like okay I'm just gonna look at her I'm not gonna yeah he yeah. was like he was like this is awesome yeah and he, did he had so really... many people who asked him after like how did you watch that and he was like are you kidding me that was the coolest thing I've ever seen yeah he he did really really well I was really impressed well they that. asked him like all the nurse all, all the nurses were so short too but yeah. And they all asked him, they're like, are you going to be okay? Because I don't think any of us can catch you. No, he was just going to be dead on the floor. Yeah. And he was like, I'll be fine. And as soon as he went, I was an iron worker. I'm an iron worker. And they all went, oh, okay. He's like, I've seen some shit. Uh, yeah, but that. He saw limbs be taken off of people. Oh, God. And he's like, had like multiple like airlift, like life flights. He's like had them land at his sites before oh god so no thank you which makes it sound like da- very dangerous but it's also iron work which is like a very dangerous profession as it is yeah i could never imagine just being up that why high why just like single for as long as he was uh, yeah it makes sense my god yeah mm. no thank you i'll stay close to the ground yeah i'm not a fan of heights as it is so like uh uh-uh. uh I could But then he tells these stories about him like running across beams and stuff. And I'm like, you were freaking insane. <clears throat> yeah, no wonder you were single for as long as you freaking were. I didn't used to be afraid of heights. Like, I used to be like, let's do it. I was all for whatever. As I got older, I don't know if I just matured and stopped being stupid or what it was. But, like, if we go on or a hike... Or your conscience was like, hey, bitch, you could die. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we go on a hike. I would love to go, um, like, we'd go to Glen and Oco, and you could stand. You used to be able to. You can't do it now, but you used to be able to, like, stand at the top of the waterfalls and, like, look out at everything. You can kind of do that, like, big on the knob. Yeah. It, yeah. Stand on but the edge. And I did that. I, like, I, crawl over everything. I used to love doing that and getting to see everything. And the last time we went on a hike um, and I did something like that was at the Delaware Water Gap. And you get to a spot. It's the very top of the mountain. And there's, like, this boulder field, essentially, like, in the side of the mountain. And it's on an angle, and you can go down it pretty far, but it gets to a point that you can't see what's below. And there are people below on rocks, but you can't see them. And my brain was going, how the fuck did they get down there? How did they get down there? Just the, well, I was, just the, just the sheer thought. Just of, the thought of a of, boulder field makes my ankles hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah. I can just imagine that one that one slip. That yeah, just... that one. No, well, that one wasn't uh, as sturdy as I thought it high was. High school, high school would have been different. Now I would. I can't. Someone would be can't carrying me off that mountain. Yeah, I can't. I have never been more terrified than I was on that hike. That was the the hike that we went on. We were with Tom, and uh, Tom is a really good friend of ours. Um, shout out to Tom. Yeah, shout out to Tom. Hope you're having fun in Vegas. That's, uh, where, that's where... Yeah, that's where Logan is. is. <laughs> uh, currently, you know, I think they're touring the Raiders stadium. Haven't seen Tom since your wedding. But, you know. Yeah, you didn't get to see him when he no, was here No, I didn't last see him time. when he came home. We only time. got to see him for, like, a couple hours. But we did get to, to meet we his girlfriend and everything. We had some great times. But, yeah. Yeah. Love Tom. Yeah. Um, we were always, like, a third wheel that they made a, a whole car, basically. Yeah, we did make a whole car. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Tom, Tom was the third wheel, and then, and then Megan became a part of the the, the third wheel. The third wheel. And yeah. Tom and, I like, and now yeah. now you're the whole car. Yeah. We're it's friends good. because because I'm friends with her. You're friends with him, and we're, you're the glue friend. 
The glue friend. You know what they call that? The glue yeah. friend? Yeah. It's like Tom and I are really... Okay, he might get offended if I say this. Tom Wait. and I are really only like, friends because we're you're, you and I are friends. But I knew Tom before... I mean, he's having... High school. High school. Also, I'm pretty sure... And I think he's the one that said this. I'm pretty sure we went to kindergarten together. Yeah, cause his mom knew that. Yeah, because his mom is friends with my mom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they still talk to each other. Aww. Yeah, they do. So my, mom, my mom likes his mom. Yeah. I so, love his mom. Yes. I do. His parents in general. He has oh, they are. Parents. They're awesome. Tom has awesome parents. I remember at the wedding, they were like, oh my god, we didn't know it was you he was walking down the aisle. And I yeah. was like, yes, it's me. <laughs> it's me. We came full circle. Yeah. And they're like, well, they said it was, it was Megan, but we didn't know which Megan. And I didn't even know you were pregnant. And I was like, huh. Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> Eight months about to pop. Yep. Um, and he was panicking. You just hear him crying. Like, color guard for this. Oh, did you hear that? Here, give me a Wrap your hand around it. <laughs> Is it gonna... Yeah, that's what mine does. That's what mine does. <laughs> okay. Um, what was it? What was it? <laughs> I was on a tangent. Oh, God. Welcome to the shit show. Well, oh, the hike. We were with Tom. Mm-hmm. Delaware Water Gap. Fucking thunderstorm came. Yeah, I don't like lightning. Lightning was striking the trees around us. I was running I down that mountain as fast my pants as I could. Because I am terrified of lightning. Yeah. Mm-mm. I was. I. I cried and I. I thought I was gonna die. I looked at them both and I was like, I'm never doing this with you guys again. I will never hike the Delaware Water Gap again. It's like that was. That it was all planned. Just so you would never go on a hike with them ever again. <laughs> I said I would never hike the Delaware Water Gap again. <laughs> but you're totally right. They they did they did plan it. They didn't want me to come with. That's their that was their bro thing, and I, I I would ruin it. Yeah. Yeah. They used to go and do like um. Oh God, what's it called? The trail. Is it Appalachian? Trail? Yeah, the Appalachian Trail, and they would do it for like. Two days. People they... die on that trip. I know. People get murdered on that. We Have just... you not dove into the murder. I spent an understand. entire week. I spent an entire week dove into. I hyper fixated on on the Appalachian Trail, and all I did was listen to podcasts and stories about people getting murdered, people getting eaten, people mm-hmm. like just disappearing. Mm-hmm. The mon- monsters, creatures. Things Monsters? that follow you what? on the Appalachian Trail? Yes. I got into the supernatural side of the Appalachian Trail. I dug so far into it. I will never step foot on the Appalachian Trail ever. Okay. <laughs> and then, yeah. and then literally like less than a week later, some movie came out on like Netflix or something about like, it was like a love, one of those like rom-coms. Okay. And it was like them hiking the Appalachian Trail. And did they like, die? No. Oh. Somebody did break their leg in it. That doesn't count. No, but I was okay. like, but I was like, what are the chances? Yeah, that, um, we did, like, watch murder documentaries and stuff like that, where people did go missing or were murdered on the Appalachian Trail. I think that there was a serial killer that used the Appalachian Trail. Oh, yeah. Did yeah. you hear about the two girls that, like, that, like, got brutally murdered on the Appalachian Trail? Like, just oh. off the path, like, right at one of the, um entrances like right at one of the entrances it was like a parking lot and they they camped right like just off, off, of, it? The, off of it and like by the parking lot they were like found like a few weeks later and they were just like gruesomely murdered oh and that's God. why they're they claim though and that's when this thing was like oh and this is why you know we encourage you to not um camp off of the trail and to stay like at the little huts and stuff. That's where they stayed and stuff. When they did it. But then every single other murder was at like, the hut. We're at the little huts, and I was like, "How are you trying to tell me it's safer at the huts?" When then every single one I've seen after this it was people getting murdered in the huts. I 
I, I, I got that. That's why I said I will never step foot on the Appalachian Trail. Ever. I guess I will never hike the the Appalachian Trail either. Um, yeah. That well, they used they don't do it anymore, but they used to do that, <laughs> and they'd be gone <laughs> for like you know three days, and I would get you know crazy text messages from them late at night, surrounded by the campfire because they were drinking and being stupid, and I'd just be like, go to bed, and uh, then he would come home, and that was their guy time. And now I have to force him to leave and go to Las Vegas for guy time. For guy time so I can have me time. Well, it's all because Thomas moved. Yeah, Tom. Fuck you, Tom. Fuck you, Tom. <laughs> we used to have great times. Oh my god, yeah. We would have bonfires, bonfires all the time. And Can you remember the bonfire at the farmhouse? <laughs> Barely. <laughs> or how about the night that we stayed up until sunrise? Oh my god, we were committed to that though. We were so we committed. Sat. We were like, no, we are not leaving until we see the sun. And I, I remember, I remember that night because I was not super drunk. And I also remember that night because that was a time Logan went to go to the bathroom and he turned around and looked at you and you want to hold it and you went yeah, <laughs> and you ran over and proceeded to hold. Hold it for your husband while he peed. Yeah. And Isn't were, that what a wife is supposed to do? But you were dating at the time. Shh. <laughs> you weren't even you weren't even engaged. You were dating at the time. Yeah. Well, I think Thomas was there for that. Probably. Thomas was there for most stuff. Tom has been there for a lot. <laughs> this is like appreciation time for Tom. <laughs> Tom appreciated. Tom was there to help me move. Yeah. I don't think he was willingly there to help me move. I think he was forced. No, I think he was willingly was there. Was he? If I remember correctly, he willingly came. Maybe. We might, it might have been like a, are you busy? Like, or do you have I think you guys on? were out to breakfast that morning when I called you. And he was there with you. We were. We were at Powderborn. Yeah. Oh, God. Shit. Did I just rip that? Yeah, I did. Oh, mm-hmm. Sorry, slippers. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Really bloody. Um, yeah, we, we, were at, we were at Powderborn. And I had asked him. I was like, can you help? Is it? Would you be okay to come help? Yeah. Do you mind? And he said, yeah. He just got dragged into it. He got dragged into a lot. He was our third wheel. Poor man then got stuck there. Slept on my couch. Did he get stuck there? Yeah. You guys went home that night and left him in my apartment. I thought... Yeah. But wasn't he drunk? Yes. So were you. <laughs> we were all. Because then... Uh, Aaron showed up. Oh. And yeah. Oh, was this a handcuff night? Yes. Oh. Yes, it was. Because I said, I was like, I'm not taking all this alcohol with me. We got to drink it tonight. And we drank all the alcohol. Well, first off, we went out for dinner. We started drinking. I remember that. And then it, because and then, we were messing with him in the car on the way there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was fun. That was funny. Yes. And then. Yeah, Tom was really was really getting involved. Tom was really messing with it though, because he had my phone for the longest time. He yeah, had my Tom phone. Was then, a, we're then, we're messing with then, the ex boyfriend. Yeah, and then Tom took my phone, and then Tom was messing with him. He kept answering it and saying like weird shit, weird shit. Like I, oh God, word, I remember that was really really funny, and I don't remember what it was. Something about wieners was one of them. <laughs> and then, um, and then we went back to my apartment and which was a farmhouse so you yeah. had a lot of open land yeah tons tons stupidly put a fire pit right underneath this big old tree, tree. why you do I don't understand like it should have been over like two feet more but like whatever yeah um almost burned the tree down yeah well I think we got the fire a little higher than we should have let it get but we, we were, were having so fun. So I got back. I have a thing about that night too. And then, um, then I was like, we need to drink all this alcohol. We were sitting on the floor in like the living room drinking okay. all this alcohol. Yeah. And it was just mix of all kinds of shit. Like whatever was in that apartment. I'm surprised we were alive the next day. I'm surprised too. I'm surprised I was alive the next day. Yeah. Because like Thomas probably stopped me from falling into that fire. On multiple times. Oh, that was it. We didn't leave him there. He didn't want you to be alone. Aaron stayed with me. Did he? Yeah. 
Well, they didn't want you to be alone. Oh. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Big preach. <laughs> huh. True friend there. Thanks, Thomas. I guess you're a good friend, Tom. Emphasis on I guess. I guess. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Aaron's Tom knows. And I just remember Aaron was there because I, we walked in and Aaron goes, I get her guest bedroom. He called the guest bedroom. He was like, I get the guest bedroom. And, um, well, yeah, make Tom sleep on the couch or the floor, which Aaron is. So, uh, but yeah, so he, yeah. And then Tom took the couch. I didn't know. I thought you guys just abandoned him and he had no way of getting home. I didn't realize he stayed. No, he didn't want you to Because he's a good guy. Yeah. He also didn't let me fall at your wedding. So thank you for that as well. He was absolutely terrified that you were going to, I know, to, to eat it. And I, I'm probably guilty for that because i like brian is also just as guilty for that because yeah. he like drilled it into him about like he's like if she falls and i was like it's okay and then just but when we were walking down that's why we were laughing so much and shit like and we were walking back because he we got to the bottom of those like what four steps yeah and they, they weren't like tall it was really no, short minor no. steps and like i that. felt like i watched everything in him relax yeah, <laughs> as we got to the bottom of the steps, and he wrote, he's like, oh. and then we got to the reception, and he saw the big staircase, and then he was like, <gasps> <laughs> like, oh, no. like, oh no, I forgot that this staircase existed. You guys did fine. Yeah, did he did. He did grab the thing of champagne though and turn around and hand it to me, like, because he just, I think it was just autopilot. He came on the stairs. And they offered oh, champagne. Oh, they had cha- yeah, champagne. And he for grabbed everybody. one and he turned to me, and I was like, "Did he double fist?" Yeah, yeah, both of his hands. Good boy. But I, I took one. Of, I mean, I did take one for like I was like, "Well, for photo's sake." Like, yeah. And then I stood next to him during speeches, and I just went, "I had," and just sniffed it because I was like, "It's been so long." And then you're one of the the people from there from the venue came up and she was like do you want sparkling cider and i was like i guess i had gotten and sparkling I cider specifically for the you. champagne yeah i had gotten sparkling cider specifically for you because I, I and i told them i looked at them and i was like one of my bridesmaids is heavily pregnant she cannot drink Obviously. but i want her to get to experience the toasts and everything and i was like so this is strictly for her if <clears throat> the parents of the kids want them to also, like, they can have a little bit, but yeah. this is strictly for her. <laughs> I was very excited about that. Yeah. <laughs> but she came over. She was so nice. Too. She came She was like, do you want it? And I was like, fine. And I <laughs> gave her. Fine. She didn't, like, take it from me right away. Like, she left it in my hand <clears throat> so that, like, photos and stuff. Like, you could obviously still have yeah. something. Um, but I sat there and I just sniffed it for a while. <laughs> So I was like, it's been so long. It's been so long since I've been able to do this. And I'm sure Thomas next to me was probably like, what the fuck? <clears throat> I have a feeling a lot of people were probably looking at you like, what is going on? <laughs> and I was like, I haven't smelled champagne in so long. Yeah. It was a... How long uh, before did you take your wedding cake out of the freezer? Not long. Okay. I think I took it out the night before. Okay. If anything, that morning. Really? Yeah. Like, not very okay. long. Okay. Jeez. I can't really remember. I mean, ours was still good, though. Like, a year later. It's supposed to be. Yeah, like, it still was, like... I don't want to say the word. I will put the word... Up here, <laughs> <laughs> but it was, and it, like it tasted it's still really good. And like I, I think I can speak for the majority of us. And nobody it's like, wants to we say know the word. Yeah. Um. But no, like it, yeah, it was, it was very, it was still very good. Like to the point where like I, it wasn't like a oh we ate a piece, you know, done. Like we like took a forkful. It was like we caught like legit pieces then afterwards. Well, and like eight actual pieces of cake. Logan thought that the tradition was you're supposed to eat a piece of the cake every single year. 
until the top tier was I mean, gone. You could. And I was like, I, I, <laughs> we could do that, but I have a feeling after a while it's going to get freezer burnt. And it wouldn't be good anymore. I wish I would have thought about that. So he looked at me and he was like, well, what if, what if you cut it into individual slices and we wrap them in cling film and freeze individual slices of cake? She'd vacuum soap? That too. Yeah. Date them? Yeah. For like when you're supposed to open them? Yeah. Almost like, you know, Christmas presents? Or but like, but can I... Ex- for Christmas? Do I really want to have space in the freezer of my RV for like eight pieces of wedding cake? Sacrifices need to be made. <laughs> or we could just eat the whole tier. <laughs> Like, like we did that night. Like, yeah, yeah, like you guys did. And like, like, do you want some more wedding cake? Proceeds to pull out like an entire <laughs> layer of wedding cake out of hands me a fork. Listen, okay. go at it. So I ate so much of that cake that night. So, so did I. So for our wedding, we had a three tiered cake, and I we only had seventy five people. I did not expect to have a three tiered cake. I thought we were going to have, like, a two-tiered cake, or it would be, like, one of the layers with styrofoam kind of a thing. Yeah. No. Definitely it wasn't. Um, the bottom tier... Wasn't even the right color. No. It, oh, God. Don't get me involved. Don't, <laughs> don't get me started on that. It was supposed to be... Even... You see this color? That color blue? You see the... I don't even know if that really... Point to the wall. Point to the, to the wall. <laughs> That's the TV. That's the wall. Okay, that color blue, right? This deep, dark, navy blue. I don't even know if that really looks blue, though, in this. Uh, Well, it's navy blue. I guess um, that far wall looks even more blue. Yeah, okay. It's navy blue, right? My cake was supposed to be that color. It was like turquoise. It was cookie monster blue. We don't even have that blue here anyways? No. Her her sweatshirt is... Wine, Wine. Color wine. Yeah, wine. Navy. Those were my wedding colors. Wine and navy. It was this like uh, deep dark, um, dark acad. What would it be like dark academia, like gothic style wedding? And I had a a fucking cookie monster colored cake. Um. Anyway, <laughs> so we picked two flavors. Yeah, because our, our dresses were like velvet. Yeah, they were. That they were, sets the tone. They were yeah. velvet dress. It was nice because it was. Obviously, January. It was cold. It was freezing. It was so cold. And it was so windy, too. It was windy. Which, I'll tell a, a story about that in a second. Um, but we, you know, chose two flavors. Had vanilla chai, and then uh, lemon raspberry was the second flavor. Well, this bottom tier was all the vanilla chai. And it was like... It, it was huge okay like bigger than a nine by nine. Oh yeah it was- and we only had 75 people and it was three fucking tears yeah they gave small pieces they gave stuff. small pieces of this cake out like, tiny yeah like, thin. and they used the middle tier i was like bitch i am eight months pregnant get me a actual a big slice. ass piece of cake they used the middle tier wrapped the entire bottom tier for us and then also wrapped the top tier and boxed it for us to take home nobody knows where the lemon raspberry cake is because nobody had it no no i think it's the top tier because the bottom tier it was all vanilla chai so what i did was i froze the top tier of the cake and the night of our wedding i took out a fork took out the bottom tier because I didn't really get to eat our cake and I just started going at it (laughs) and then we brought it back home um and Megan came over then that week and I was like you want some wedding cake it was literally like the next day I came over I was like you want some because we had to drop off because we had stuff in our car yeah we had stuff yeah because we brought a whole bunch of stuff home in our car and then we had to drop that off and I just stood there and ate cake with you yeah it. Oh, it was so windy that was a in rough the night. in that wind tunnel between the the church and the where we were. Yeah, that I almost got blown away when I went to walk into the church because yeah, my didn't somebody almost like, shut the so door late. in your face? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> so we Story time. The 
bride's door <laughs> in the bride's face. Story time about my wedding. <laughs> so we were hidden away in like a little. Not um, where we were supposed to be. No, they switched it. Didn't even tell didn't me. Didn't tell us. Um, but we were hidden in a building. It was like the parish office building, which was directly across from the front doors to the church. And they, uh, the guys came in because the guys and girls walked in separately. The guys walked down the aisle and then they came and got the girls out of the room with me. And they went and started walking down the aisle. And I thought that they were going to come and get me get me all situated because I could hide without being seen from the open yeah. doors and I would get all situated you know we'd get I had a really long train and a really long veil get all of that situated very long veil and then we could you know my dad and I would walk up to the doors they would open the doors I'd have my introduction you know whatever that didn't happen the girls all walked down the aisle. I think you were actively walking down the aisle when they came to get me and my dad. <clears throat> and they were like, come on, you gotta go, you gotta go. And they were rushing me. I was like, oh my God. Like, I didn't even get a minute to breathe. Yeah, I was like one of the first ones to start walking too. They, so uh, oh yeah, no, Cassia went last. Yeah. Okay, so was Cassia there. was actively walking down yeah, the aisle. Yeah, she, yeah, she was. Because um, you were all gone. You weren't there. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my God. So I was trying to get as fast as I could. I had people trying to gather my train. My dad and everybody was trying to gather my train and get me across the way. And in between the two buildings, it was a wind tunnel. And it was so windy that day that as soon as I walked out the door, my whole being went... <laughs> My veil, everything. They were trying to catch it. It was pulling me away from the church. Mm -hmm. And they finally got a hold of it. And I was like really working it to get into the church. And they were like, okay, you got to go. My dad was standing right next to me. Everybody is still fussing with everything back there. They open the doors. The music is already playing for my entrance. We start walking. My dad and I... I was escorting him. I saw <laughs> in the pictures. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, my bouquet was ginormous. It was. It was and huge. I still have it, but it, it it I think dried. It doesn't even do it justice. No, it was. I huge. had to hold it with two hands. There was oh. just no way that I could hold it with one hand. No, because I remember you going here. Feel this. <laughs> and he handed it to me. I was like, oh, oh my, my god. god. Yeah. <laughs> I had to hold it with two hands. So I was escorting him. The door that opened for my side slipped out of their hands and it smashed me in the <laughs> face. Luckily, I reacted fast enough that I caught it before I was in, like pushing the door with my whole body. Um, and then my dad looked at me and he was like, you're walking pretty fast, kid. And I was like, sorry. <laughs> so I was like, so much has happened. So I thought I was like, we're not even going to give her time to think about getting cold. She, she's going to rush in and immediately start walking down the aisle. Yeah, nobody uh, allowed me It didn't look like you were in a panic. Thank God. Yeah. I wasn't. I started crying. Like, I started getting teary-eyed. I made very strong eye contact with your husband, though, as I was walking down the aisle. Yeah. I, I was... Wanted him to cry. He and then, cry. Oh, he was very close to crying. He, he was the entire time. My, uh, when I went to visit dad and my stepmom afterwards, mm -hmm. they were talking to me and my stepmom was like, yeah, yeah, I kept looking at me. You were smiling so much. You look so happy. And he then I would hand to Logan and he terrified. was just like, <gasps> he did. <laughs> and everybody was like, why is he like so terrified? Like, why does he look like that? Turns out, he was terrified that he was going to throw up all over me. <laughs> he was like, I was so worried because we did a traditional, I'm Episcopal, so we did like a traditional Episcopal, like full fledged church service. It was long. And it was long. There were lots of moving parts, and you had to remember like all of the parts. And yes. And, and, <laughs> And the groomsmen <laughs> never paid like attention. Like men, we're not paying attention. <laughs> and I had to go, psst, psst, hey, <clears throat> from across the church. Move. We were on opposite sides. 
sitting up here is going, I was like, move, now, file, file in line, file in line. <laughs> and then and like, like file? poor Thomas is staring at me like, what do I do? Because we were the end people. Yeah. So we were not supposed to be the people in charge. No. And I was like, file, file, file. file. Yeah. And then I just remember you guys got, you guys kneeled down and we looked down and immediately <laughs> every single one of us had the same reaction. We all went, son of a bitch. Because he didn't take the sticker off the bottom of his shoe. My husband decided to leave the price tag on the bottom of the shoe for our wedding. And we're kneeling in front of everybody that's there. Should have wrote help to me see. on it. He should have, yeah. <laughs> he he should have written something on his shoes. Yeah, but that I just funny. remember like like <sighs> making eye contact with Thomas, and we were just like, oh god. <laughs> and then like people were re- reciting things, and I was, and like ev- like everybody was doing it except for him and I, and we were looking at each other, and we were like, <laughs> it was in the bulletin. <laughs> we were like, we, oh, I don't go to church. You're fine. Just, just like I got I got got up for communion, and I was like, what do I do? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. What did I say? The blood of wine. <laughs> the blood of wine. Because we actively participated in communion and giving the wine. And at communion, I was so I was elsewhere. Like, oh, bless me. Yeah, I was so <laughs> elsewhere. And I got to her and I just started laughing internally. And then without even thinking, I just went, the blood of wine. And I was like, wait, that's not it. Then I was like, wait, I'm not taking this anyways. <laughs> You're not. It I'm just great. getting blessed. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, I'm not baptized. Am I not supposed to, <laughs> Am I not supposed to be doing here? this? No, you're fine. You're welcome. Yeah. Always welcomed. That but was yeah, fun. It was, it it was, was an fun interesting, fun day. It was. So much happened. It was a big whirlwind. Yeah. Uh, high school. Fun times. Fun times. I remember one time, because obviously we talk about lightning i was terrified of lightning like i have yeah still do no, don't like lightning no like I'll, I'll get like in high school i think i got a lot worse and i do remember one time we the power went out a gate came down we were stuck on the other side of the gate and it was horribly like light lightning out and um somebody goes where's where's megan and one of our other guard girls, who we were always joking, immediately just yells, Megan's dead. <laughs> and I'm on the other side of the gate, like, help me. <laughs> <laughs> Megan's because, dead. <laughs> because I was stuck on the other side of the gate when everybody and the power was out. And it was thundering and lightning. And I heard, where's Megan? And she goes, Megan's dead. And I'm just... <laughs> Sobbing <laughs> and freaking out on the other side. Like, not having it. Yeah. Oh my god. It sounds like your high school experience was slightly traumatic. It's slightly, slightly. But I do remember I had a friend that like I was always friends with in middle school and everything. And I later on I was like, hey, like, oh you know, like we kinda like got apart from each other. Like we fell into like obviously I was in the marching band and stuff, and she goes, Yeah, she goes, I was had my friend group and you you became popular. And I was like <laughs> Popular? You thought I was popular? Bitch, I was in marching band. <laughs> you thought I was popular. She goes, you you talked to all the popular kids. And I was like, I was just a social butterfly. You still I, are. I talked to anybody. You still do. Whether they were popular or not, I talked to you. I'm the anti-social I didn't care. one. I didn't care who you were. I have a conversation with anybody. I didn't care about your social status. <laughs> Bitch, please. I'm not even going to see you after high school. Sorry, it was the way that you said social status. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Oh wow. Fun. Yeah. I don't um I I don't think about high school. I I barely talk to anybody from high school. Supposed to have my ten year reunion this spring. Yeah, it's coming up. <laughs> don't uh don't even know if that's happening. I Mine don't would be after that. No idea. Mine would be inter- I'm only slightly interested in going just to see what a reaction to the life I have now would be. Yeah, I don't know. It's, um, I don't have any interest Because, in it. you know, we obviously yeah. have enough in common with the fact that we both married older men. <laughs> we did. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll, we'll go more in depth about that next week. Yeah. <laughs> um, we did. We'll let but, that simmer for now. Yeah. Uh, but 
I, I just, I don't know. I don't think I have any interest in going. Because it's just... Yeah. I, I don't... I mean, like... I really need to crack my neck. Suck. So, oh. Did you hear that? <laughs> ASMR. ASMR. I can't. You can't? Okay. <laughs> ASMR. ASMR. <laughs> oh, I have bears on my socks. Can you... Can you... <laughs> Can you see? <laughs> Probably not. They're tiny bears. They're little little teddy bears. They're cute. Each color of my socks, because I got multiple pairs naturally. Every color has a different uh, outfit on the bear. Oh. Stop judging. <laughs> okay? You leave me and my bear socks alone. <laughs> Miss Merry Christmas. Merry Crisis. Merry Crisis. Merry Crisis. Merry Crisis. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas. That's, that's her special name. Well, this was fun. How about we round this off with I can Something literally simple. see the thought bubble <laughs> forming above your <laughs> brain. Okay. okay, I have okay, one, one weird, one weird, well, that's not even weird. So this guy, we're just going to end this out with, uh, what's your favorite font? I saw this on something, and I went, you know what? I'm interested in knowing. You just opened up the hand of his box. Can of worms? I can tell you what my favorite font is. Georgia. I use that classic. on everything. Very classic. Yeah, yeah, I, I love it. It looks good for like anything you do. It does. Fuck Time New Times New Roman. Times though. New Roman sucks. I, for work purposes, for professionalism, use Arial instead of Times New Roman. Or, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> the the <laughs> the. It's, 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 it's hella something. Oh, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah that one. Oh, like, <laughs> I didn't know how to pronounce it. Um, but I'll use either one of those <laughs> for professionals. I'll never be able to look it up. <laughs> I'm not going to. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, but, oh, God, there are so many. Because they're so visually pleasing, and I'm a visual person. But if I really had to do just one? Just one. What's your favorite font? What's your go-to when you're typing something up and you immediately just click to it? It's what you just put it in. And it doesn't have to be anything like, like you're not typing up anything important. It's just something that you're like throwing together and you're like, uh, it's my, your default. That's a good term. You're going to you judge use. me. Like typewriter or something? Edwardian script. Edward. What the fuck does that even look like? <laughs> I'll show you. Edwardian scripts. Uh -huh. Put that word earlier <laughs> in, in Edwardian, Edwardian script. script. Okay, I got you. Yeah. And then put that word here again. <laughs> put it here again? Because we will never say it out loud. <laughs> right right where it's right, right in the TV? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Good lord. This was fun. It's this one. Yeah. So, uh, we will be here. Weekly? Pretty much weekly. Pretty much. Pretty much. Um, as long as, like, obviously something doesn't get in the way of it. We keep people updated. Yeah. Up and down. Um, welcome to our ramble sessions. Yeah. Let's see, what else? Uh... Well, you can find us on <laughs> oh there you go yeah that, that's on it. Instagram and TikTok and TikTok. Um, I did make us an email. We have an email too. If you guys like have anything that you want to, any topics that you want us to discuss. Yes, we'll or, get more into things like why, in fact, we hide from our husbands. This just was, this was just our fun little intro and into us. Yeah, and. So you guys know what you're getting yourselves into. The chaos that is our minds. I think chaos is a good word to sum it up. Next week I think we'll be more structured. 
we just kind of hit record and said, let's talk. <laughs> hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. We'll see what happens. As you've gathered, we go on tangents. So when this will be out, it will be Sunday, December 17th. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Five o'clock? Five o'clock? Four thirty? Four thirty? <laughs> one one so pretty. <laughs> Five o'clock? Stare into this. this. Five thirty? Salt water hunger? Tell no one. <laughs> Six thirty with me? <laughs> Six thirty dinner with me? I guess. <laughs> it's it's not again. And it's mm, morally, mm, no. Um, socially, mm, ethically, ethically, mm, it's five o'clock somewhere. Yes. Um, so grab yourself a glass of wine because if we do, we'll get demonetized. And um, yeah, drink for us. Drink for us. And uh, we'll see you next week. Sounds good. Bye. Bye.